so uh, in the previous class we have solved an example in which uh, we considered the effect of sinking and rotation of the supports so uh, we discussed how to take into account uh, the secondary effects due to sinking or rotation of supports in moment distribution method now today we'll uh, we'll move to uh, analysis of frames So as discussed earlier, uh, two types of frames we will be considering. Uh, one is non-sway frame, which are uh, restrained or which are prevented against lateral sway. Second is play frames. So we are not going in much details uh, about sway frames and non-sway frames. The things have already been covered in your slope deflection method. So let us uh, move to uh, non-sway frames. These frames, the non-square frames can be analyzed in the same manner as we analyze the uh, continuous beams. So the necessary conditions uh, are same uh, as we discussed in slope deflection method. So necessary and sufficient conditions. non-sway the first condition is it should be symmetrical with respect to its geometry geometry means its shape should be symmetrical its material property
which accounts for modulus of elasticity E, its cross section, which accounts for its moment of inertia, its boundary condition, which accounts for its support condition, and and loads okay second condition is either this should be satisfied or it should be prevented from undergoing lateral sway by some restraints okay. the examples of sway frame non sway frames are shown here So as you can see, in the first case, it is symmetrical with respect to its geometric shape, with respect to its loading, its material property, its cross section. Okay. Whereas in the second case, again, uh, it is symmetrical. The left half is exactly the middle of uh, the right half. And in the third case, uh, Let us have some lateral loads on it. Though the frame is not symmetrical with respect to loading and its geometric shape, it is non sway, it is categorized as non sway because we have some lateral restraints which will prevent the frame to undergo sway. So, because of this lateral restraint, The frame will not undergo sway. Okay, so with this, uh, we now take an example uh, to uh, analyze the frame using moment distribution method. Okay, so uh, we have to analyze this frame using moment distribution method. Now, given uh, here, it is given that I AB is equal to three times I DC. Okay, and E is constant. E is same for both the materials. Okay, 
question so let us analyze this now here we, we have to first identify whether the frame is a sway frame or a non sway frame so uh, the same exercise we did for the uh, we did in this uh, slope deflection method we have to uh, carry out here also so first we have to uh, check here the frame is unsymmetrical is unsymmetric with respect to load okay even with respect to geometry with respect to boundary condition so so but but it is prevented from lateral sway here you can see this support support a prevents lateral sway so we have lateral restraint it is laterally restrained so this implies that the frame is a non sway frame that means it is to be analyzed same as therefore therefore analyze the frame in the same manner as continuous beam so what we can do we can make an equivalent continuous beam of this frame okay this fix the here as well as fix here okay this is your a point this is b and this is c and ab is loaded with 60 kN per meter this is 6 meter and this is 3 meter and this is the equivalent beam this figure is actually the equivalent now you can analyze this so the uh, first step is restrain the frame and find the tangent actions 
also note that here we have been given uh, the moment of inertia of segment ab as three times the moment of inertia of segment bc so if or so if i take ibc that is the moment of inertia of segment bc is equal to i then i ab will be equal to 3i so this is your 3i and this is i okay the cross section for this member is 3i and the cross section for this is having i moment of inertia so same thing here also this is 3i and this is i so actually this is a beam uh, with stepped cross section okay so it will have larger cross section here than uh, reduced section at bc so let us restrain the beam loaded with a udl of intensity 60 kN per meter so 6 meter moment at a b and f a b friction moment at b b and f b a and the friction moment at b of segment b c b m f b c and friction moment for this segment b m f c b So M F A B is equal to minus sixty into six square by twelve. How much is this value? Then M F B A will be equal to sixty into six square by twelve, whereas M F B C is equal to zero because there is no load on span B C and M F C B. Result zero. How much is this value? How much is this value? One eighty zero. This is minus one eighty kilo newton meter. This is one eighty kilo newton meter. now the next step
is distribution factor so we make a table joint member stiffness of that member total stiffness and distribution factor and you can add a column for remark as well here joint a is connected to ab and joint a is a fixed joint or it is fix support so the distribution factor is zero second joint b it is connected to ba and bc now the stiffness of ba member here the far end is fixed so this will be 4 i is 3i for this member by length is 6 meter so this will be 2 ei okay and for this segment it will be 4 ei by l l is 3 meter for this segment okay so it will be 4 ei by 3 so the total stiffness will be 10 ei by 3 so you can find what is the distribution factor for ba and bc here you can add the far end fix in the remark column far end fix here also far end fix that is why we are using 4 ei by l what is the distribution factor here Oh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, there is a hinge support here, and not the fixed support. In the given problem, there is a hinge support. So, this. here we have a hinge support so here far end is hinge so we will be using 3 i by l so the total this will be ei total will be 3 ei so this will be 2 by 3 of ei and this will be 1/3 of ei means it will be 2/3 and it will be 1/3 okay so we have the distribution factors and for joint c it is connected to cb and the distribution factor will be 1 because it is a in support so now uh, we move to next step that is moment distribution so again we make a table first the joint a b and c 
the joint then the member connected to the, that joint so ab here it will be connected to ba and bc and this is cb then we write the distribution factor for these members so the distribution factor for ab is 0 this is 2 by 3 this is 1 by 3 and this is 1 okay just verify this okay 0 2 by 3 1 by 3 and 1 then we write the friction moments so the friction moments are minus 180 180 0 0 minus 180, 180, 0 and 0, okay. Now here support C is in support, so we have to release the support and but it is already being released because there is no moment, so still we release support C and carry over, so 0 which will be carry forward 0 here half of this will be carried forward here 0 0 so our initial moments are same as the friction moments so first cycle the so distribution one here the unbalanced moment is 180 so you have to balance this so minus 180 into 2 by 3 that will be minus 120 and minus 180 times 1 by 3 it will be minus 60 okay this is 0 this is also 0 carry over one so this cannot be carried forward here because it is already been released so it is dash this will be carry forward here half of this will be carry forward here zero half of this will be carry forward here zero and half of this will be carry forward here that is minus 60 okay so now here we uh, there is no unbalanced moment so we stop here so our final moments will be 0 here, minus 60 here, this will be plus 60 and this will be minus 240. Now you can also uh, make shear corrections. So for shear corrections. We find the pre shear. So the pre shear for segment AB. Here, here, this is 60 km per meter. This is 6 meter in length. This is 3 meter in length. 
So please here here will be sixteen to six by two. That means one eighty. This will also be one eighty. Zero. This is zero. Okay. So we have the values of pre shear. One eighty. One eighty. Zero and zero. Now next is shear correction. For shear corrections, let us say this is AB. The moment, final moment at A is. Minus 240. Minus 240 means it is anti-clockwise. At B, it is 60. So this is clockwise 60. This is A. This is B, D, and C. And Moment at B on segment BC is uh, minus 60, so anti-clockwise minus 60 and zero here. Zero here. Okay, so you can find the net moment on the beam will be this is anti-clockwise 240 and this is clockwise 60. So the net moment on the beam will be. 180 anti-clockwise. Okay, 240 minus 240 plus 60. So that is, it is minus 180, which is which means it is anti-clockwise 180. So and the length of the member is 6 meter. This is 3 meter. So you can find the reactions. So, so this beam rotates. The, uh, the this beam is acted upon by anti-clockwise moment of 180 kilonewton. So the reactions will form a clockwise couple. So this will be downward. This will be upward. So downward. So this will be minus 180 by 6. This will be 180 by 6. Means moment divided by the lever arm distance. You will get the value of the couple. So this will be. Minus thirty, and this will be thirty. Similarly, here the unbalanced moment is anti-clockwise sixty. Okay, so again we uh, will have the clockwise couple. So this will be minus sixty by three, that means minus twenty, and this will be sixty by three, that is twenty. So The value of shear will be 30 year. Shear correction will be 30 year minus 30 year minus 20 year and or oh, 20 year and minus 20 year. So the final shear. Will be minus twenty year, twenty year, and this will be one fifty year, and this will be two one zero. So, and the total shear at support B will be equal to one seventy kilo newton. Okay, so now uh, with these uh, calculations, you can then uh, draw the 
shear force and bending moment diagram so that is your step 4 shear force diagram and bending moment diagram so again this is the task for you to complete the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam okay so let's stop here if you have any doubt we can discuss now and in the next class we'll take one more example of non sway frame and then we'll switch to sway frames if you have any doubt we can discuss now